Yo, what's up? It's Aaron. Um, how y'all doing today? It's, what, Thursday in May. Thank God it's not hot yet. I'm glad of that because I hate the heat. Um, yep, it's been a long time since I made a video, so I just want to say hi. I missed you guys. Maybe you missed me too, and if you miss me, I love you guys. Um, so yeah, I just I, I just haven't made a video in a long time. I don't know why. I just I just decided to make one a day. I finally decided to make a new one. Um But yeah, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing great. Um But yeah, like I used to say uh, thanks, thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel and getting me likes. Get me, I would like to get more people looking at me and you know to know my story and you know reach out to some doctors and other support groups because we don't have any schizophrenic support groups in Kansas that I have never found one. The closest thing I found to a schizophrenic support group was on Facebook. So, um, but yeah, this video is an update. I'm going to tell you guys what's been going on with me, what's been going on in my life, and just, you know, what's new with me and stuff. Sorry. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so first thing I'm going to tell you guys about, I quit working. Um, I know you guys knew I used to work at the car wash. And I was there for about four or five, about three or four years. And um, I quit there because of COVID. We were barely getting any customers. And then it kept raining and getting the weather was bad. And then the business was really slow. So I just didn't want to work there anymore plus I didn't make that much money there hourly anyway I made good in tips but I didn't make much hourly and so I quit that job and then I went to work for this place called Go Chicken Go it's a fried chicken place here in Kansas um, um, and I worked there for about a month and um, it was an okay job the thing that made me quit though but they didn't give us any breaks, not not a smoke break, not a lunch break, not a 15 minute break, no nothing. And so I didn't really like that. And so that made me want to start looking for another job. And instead of looking for another job, I just, you know, I just, I just said fuck it and decided not to work. My kids are back in school, so I was like, fuck it, I didn't want to work anymore. For not you know, not that I'm lazy or anything. It's just my medicine makes me tired, and being around people, I I'm still not used to. I still don't like it. I hate being around people. If it was up to me, it would just shit like them songs say, just be me and my niggas, and my niggas is my kids and my two homies right there. I let them to death. Um, but yeah, it would just be us. Cause um yeah I don't, I don't I'm not friendly at all but yep I quit working there um let's see what else uh yeah like I said my kids are back in school they were out of school for a while because of the COVID and uh, so they're back in school now and uh, they're doing good they they're getting good grades and stuff so they're doing a good job and stuff so I'm proud of them. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, they're doing real good in school. Ariana's making friends. Boys are hollering at some boy winked at her the other day. And he gets crazy out. No, I'm just playing. I ain't like that. Y'all could date my daughter. I know grown ass man or nothing like that. But other kids, that's fine. That's fine with me. Um, and Damien, he's doing good. He's, uh really smart he's learning how to make code he's like he wants to make video games and stuff like that like we talk we watch the movies together all the time and he we be talking about how wouldn't that be cool if this movie 
was a video game. Like, I know y'all, who, who wouldn't want to play John Wick? That would be the fucking best fucking video game ever. And now that I said this, somebody's probably going to take my fucking idea. But it's okay, because I would love to play that video game. Um, but he's really smart, and he's getting in there doing that type of stuff. And, you know, he still plays video games a lot, but most of the time he'd be trying to learn stuff like... I didn't call him watching stuff on history and stuff like that, so... Yeah, he's pretty smart. Uh, let's see, what else? Um... My hallucinations, um, let's see, my hallucinations, they've been, they've been okay, I, I, I see stuff every day, like a whole, like all day long, but it's nothing that scares me or nothing that is freaking me out or nothing like that, um, I basically just keep seeing like, sh like, I keep seeing dogs around me, um, I keep seeing dogs and shit like that, and, um, yeah, the, the, the hallucinations were gone for a really long time, for like, um, for about six, seven months, and it was a medication that I was on, and, um, so the medication, like, took away the voices, the feelings, stuff, everything, and I was okay with most of it, but my voice, Eric, he went away, and I didn't like that. And so I told my doctor about it, and uh, they took me off that medication. And uh, I'm starting to hallucinate more like I used to, but uh, he still hasn't came back. And I'm wondering if it's uh, uh, because I'm not stressed out and nobody's like picking at me daily and making me upset and angry. Because usually he comes around when... Um, I'm just, when somebody's upsetting me, he'll tell me to go hurt him and stuff like that. And that's so, all. But he hasn't came back yet. He doesn't only tell me to hurt people. He's also crack jokes. He makes jokes about people. And they be funny. And so we be laughing. And so I know somebody on Facebook asked me about who Eric was. And if they're watching this video, Eric's one of my voices. And he's gone. And I miss him. I really do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, um, pretty much it, and then, like, well, my delusions, I don't know if it's a delusion or a hallucination or what it is, but, uh, I had this thing where I really, really want to, uh, how do you say this without getting locked down, but I uh, really want to hurt people who hurt children and women. And because uh, it really pissed me out when I when I hear about a woman or child being hurt, and so those are the type of people I want to hurt. And so I try to tell somebody on one of the Facebook um, support groups, and they snitched on me and kicked me off for three days. I couldn't get right talk to anybody on Facebook for three days um, because I mentioned it that I want to kill people. I mean, but. You know, I don't, I don't know what what they don't like. So I don't know if it's a hallucination or delusion. I just know I hate people who hurt children and women. I was hurt as a child. All types of fucking abuse and shit. So, I really, you know, when I see a child, something happened to a child, I'll, I'll fuck somebody up if I can. I really would. Um, but yeah, you, you don't put your hands on a child or woman in front of me. You shit, people... I learned they done fucked up doing that. Fuck it with me. I don't play that shit. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I'm thinking about starting my own. Start, finally starting one of my food companies. Uh, I'm actually going to try to start a cakes. Like dessert cakes. Like uh, I make a good strawberry shortcake. A chocolate covered strawberry shortcake. A uh, a 7-Up Cake is my favorite one, and uh, I'm going to start making them and selling them and try to sell them in gas stations and like little mom-and-pop restaurants around here in town and around here in Kansas and stuff like that. So hopefully it works out for me because, like I said, I don't, I don't like working. I don't like being around people, and if I was making cakes, I'd be in the kitchen by myself all day long, and I could deal with that, but... 
I just don't like being around people. I mean, I don't mind working, but I really, really rather work from home or work from my own place where I'm comfortable. Because I'm not comfortable in most jobs. Most of the jobs I work, that I get anxiety real bad and just all kind of bad emotions and stuff like that. So I thought if I start my own company, you know, that would be better for me. And, you know, I may I'd make my own money and stuff like that. And, be able to do stuff, you know, you know, um, let's see what else, um, oh, I got a new puppy, come here, sugar, sugar, come here, sugar, come here, sugar, come here, come here, sugar, hey, Fifi, hi, Fifi, you want to see Fiona, come here, people, uh oh, you fell. Okay. Sugar's acting shy right now, so I'm going to show you Fiona. This is my little Fiona. She's blind, that's what's wrong with her eye. But she's still lovable. She's still a sweetheart. And she, but she's a chihuahua. So she likes to bite people sometimes. She's kind of mean sometimes. But she's always a little sweetheart. She's not, she's never had puppies, but she feeds the new puppy and somehow developed milk. I have no idea how that fucking happened, but it did. Um, so yeah, this is Fiona, little Fifi, the princess, the queen of the house. I love this little dog. Uh, let's see. Me sugar booger. Me sugar booger. And here is sugar. This is sugar, y'all. Um, this is my new puppy. I got her about a month ago from a girl from Facebook. Thank you so much if you're watching this video. Thank you for her. She's a sweetheart. Um, so yeah, this is my puppy. I named her Sugar because she acts like a sweetheart. She likes to play and bite people. That's all she likes to do is bite and lick on people. But yeah, that's my little chihuahua. She's a little chihuahua. Say hi to the camera. Huh? Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, I don't think I've told you guys, but I got a cat too. Um, her name is Sunday. Let me see if I can find her. Come here, Sunday. Come here, Sunday. She's she's kind of you know cast her assholes. They she, I call her. She just looks at me like I'm crazy. So maybe another time you guys will get to see her. Mm. Uh, let's see what else. Um, <coughs> my kid. Both of my kids are finally teenagers. So that's new. I've never had to deal with uh, raising teenagers or having to tell them what to do and stuff like that. So that's new to me. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Damien will be driving in a couple of years. So he'll be driving pretty soon. So that's kind of scary. But I, I hope he... Uh, I hope he, hope he learns how to drive like me. I've only been in one accident that it was my fault. Every other accident I've been in, I was a passenger. So, hopefully he's drive, her, her and him both drive like I do. Um, let's see. Um, pretty soon, I'm going to start a cooking YouTube channel. Because I cook all different types of food, like all, I'm not, like different types of tacos, um, different types of meatballs, um, all kind of different food and ethnic foods and stuff like that. Um, my favorite food is Thai food, but it's hard, that stuff is hard to me, so I make it, but it's pretty good, so. Um, but yeah, I want to start a cooking channel and start it because people be telling me to start uh to do that because i like to cook and stuff like that so that'd be really cool um i'm um 
I'm still working on my book. I'm on. I'm at the part. I'm about 18, and it's about the, the part where I'm about to get shot at, and that whole bad situation that I was in back then. So, uh, but I'm gonna keep writing and working on it. That's another reason why I quit working so I can focus on the, you know, doing this YouTube stuff and write my book and start my company you know it's kind of hard to do that when you at work for eight or nine hours straight so um so yeah that's what i was gonna do is you know work on those things you know get myself together and stuff like that um i'm doing okay with my meds um I'm on four different medications right now. Um, I'm on the Lanzapine. I take two of those before I go to bed. I'm on Martanzapine. I take this twice a day, one in the morning and one at like two or three. And I take my uh, Propranol. I take that three times a day and I take my boost bar once in the morning and once at like noon and so that's the medications that I'm on right now and they're working pretty good like I said I still hallucinate and stuff but it's something that I can handle nothing that I ain't used to so it's perfectly fine um, I'm not talking to any girls right now I'm pretty much single and not talking to anybody um, I Snapchat with this girl all the time, so, but I don't know how that's going to go. I don't even know if she really likes me like that. So, we met a couple times in person, so I like her a lot, but I don't think she likes me, but it's okay. I'll find somebody. There's, there's, there's millions of people out there. I'll find somebody, I'm sure. Of. Um, but now I'm not talking to, <clears throat> talking to anybody besides her. That's pretty much the only person I've been talking to for a while, I just, I'm ready for a relationship, it's just like, that. they just keep on going south, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I'm not trying to rush into anything right now, you know, I'm just trying to keep it cool, I really want somebody to kick it with though, because I'd be lonely, very lonely, it gets sex, but, hey, like I said, there's a million fish out there. I just ain't found the right fish for me. It's all good. I ain't found my mermaid yet. What's that mermaid from Little Mermaid? What's her name? Ariel or some shit? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I haven't self-harmed since last February. That will make it a year and three months. Give me a round of applause for that. I have not self-harmed. No cutting. Um, the last time I did self harm is uh, those dark ones right there, right here. But um, they're all healed up, and they just um, that arm is really jacked up. But it's okay. Um, but yeah, I haven't done any new ones since for a year and three months. So you know, thank God for that. Um, um, I haven't had therapy in a really long time, and that's getting to me. I haven't had therapy in about, it's been like, um, it's been about a year or so since I've had therapy, too. So, I'm really needing it, because I've been, I've been jumping in and out of depression and anger and just being upset and wanting to do stuff and hurt people and stuff, so I really will not need to talk to my doctors, but it's so busy because of the COVID. There's a huge waiting list, and I guess like I'm on the bottom because I didn't, because I missed a couple appointments when I was feeling okay, so they thought I was okay, so, but it's not their fault, I can't blame them, it's kind of my fault, so, you know, stupid, it's alright, um, let's see, what else, uh, oh, I paid my car off, yes, I have a Chevy Tahoe, I finally paid it off, so that car is all mine, um, for me to have a car, I still don't do shit. The only thing I do, I take my kids to school and I go to the store. I don't go to nobody's house. 
don't hang with nobody. I don't do nothing. <clears throat> but those two things. Um. Yeah, so. But it's cool having my own car. It's the second car I was able to pay off. And so it's pretty cool. And I, I like Tahoe's. I always have. So hopefully I get to keep it for a long time. Hopefully it don't break on me. Please. So. Um. What else? Uh, I told you guys about my voice, Eric, how he didn't come back when I got off that medication. Um, but like I said, I don't think there's a reason for him to be here, so he's not, you know, coming out. I'm pretty sure if something does happen, he should will come out, so, you know, hopefully, we'll hope. Um, let's see. Uh, me and my brother are getting along. You know, I don't know if you guys know me and him. Our childhood was kind of rocky, well, not rocky, rocky, but it, me and him was rocky, and so we get along good now, I know we both got our own kids, he got his two kids, I got my two kids, and we get along good now, so I'm glad of that, because, you know, I need family, and it's hard, you know, dealing with life all by yourself, you need somebody, and I have him, you know, I feel when I'm down, like, like, like a couple of weeks ago, I was upset about something, and, uh, he, uh, I talked to him and he calmed me down. Usually I don't talk to him because he joked too damn much with his silly ass. But uh, he, he, you know, I think he started taking me more serious. Because used to he would joke about stuff all the time. Now he's more serious when we talk. So that's cool. I love him. You know what I'm saying? I know you watch too, nigga. Uh, let's see what else. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so... Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, thanks for watching. Um, keep subscribing. And um, if you feel like you want to hurt yourself or, you know, whether it's you want to end your life or whether you just want to release some pain, um, my suggestion is don't do it. I know I'm the wrong person to tell you not to do something like that because uh, me personally, um, the, when it comes to cutting and stuff, I, I still don't plan on stopping. When I get stressed out, that's the only thing that works for me. The medicine, drugs, alcohol, anything, nothing else works. Just cutting. And it's been that way for a long time, so I'm used to it. And um, so I'm just, you know, hold on. Memory prop forgot the hell I was talking about that quick. Um, but yeah, the cutting stuff. If, um, but yeah, if you feel like you need to do that, please write me. And you know, if you write me, you know, we might become friends. And you know, I'm a good person to talk to when it comes to, you know, suicidal thoughts and depression. Because I've been dealing with it since I was 15 years old. Um, so, hopefully you guys uh, can not do that like I did and, you know, be okay. Um, so, I'm going to leave the number to the suicide hotline down here at the bottom. Um, so, if you need somebody to talk to, you know, you can call them. Them guys help a lot. They helped me through some stuff before. So, um, yeah, go ahead and write them. I mean, call them if you need to. You know, you can write me here on YouTube. You can leave a comment and I'll reply back. I'll try to get back to everybody. Um, so yeah, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching my video. Um, subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Um, and peace.